Hey guys, it's Carrie here and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how I'm using my iPad 6th gen as a Cintiq on my PC using Easy Canvas. Alright, I found out about this app a couple days ago and I'm surprised how well it works in Clip Studio Paint that I'm using right now. I'll get a better close up and I'm just loving how it works and it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the other options that I've seen and it works with Windows like it works with Windows this is why I just love this option so now I can actually use my desktop PC to draw and it just has worked phenomenally my only downside is that it has this big black borders but I can always zoom it in um, in the settings right here let me show you guys really quickly there's an expand button so I can always expand the view of it but then I'm um, I'm missing a lot of the features. I think that's just the way window works because of the iPad and the resolution and stuff like that. But otherwise, oh, I love this thing. There's barely any latency at all. And I'm using this on a 14 day trial and the whole thing costs like $12. It's really not super expensive at all to be able to access like this. And it works with your charging cable. I just plug that into my PC and it just works like, oh my gosh, a regular Wacom Cintiq. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy that this actually is working. It'll be a game changer when Android finally has a feature like that to let us mirror and use the pressure sensitivity of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or any Samsung device, any Android device that has a pen, that'll be just so useful. Brad Colbaugh did a video about this a couple years ago, but we're in 2020 and this app has significantly improved ever since he reviewed it. And I think it works amazing. As you guys can see, I'm using Clip Studio P and a lot of the gestures still work. See, look, I'm pinching to zoom and I could still make a new layer. Everything is just workable. I made full illustration on here. Let me show you guys this TikTok that I did where I started the drawing on my Samsung Notebook 9 and then I switched over once I learned about this app. And oh man, I prefer it a lot better than the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro. That's because obviously, like I've mentioned before, the pen isn't as great on there. There and I'm just happy this is just so useful. In a couple of minutes, I'll be showing you guys how to set this up. I'm gonna be installing this on my laptop and showing you guys the process that I went through for my PC, but I'm just, just doing a really ugly quick duel to just show you guys how it works. A little bit of a close up and just finishing this. Actually, you know, I'm gonna just clear the layer. And I feel like this is a good alternative if you already have Clip Studio Paint and you do not want to pay for the subscription model on the iPad. And again, this is just mirroring your uh, computer screen and it won't be as optimized for the iPad, meaning like the layout and stuff. But you can cheat it like I showed you guys with the expand thing, but this is just a great alternative for me. I'm just paying one price and the pressure actually works. And let me just show you guys, let me just bring in a coloring brush really quick. And the good thing about this is that sometimes if the icons are too small on here, I can look over to my PC. Let me show you guys really quick. So I think the biggest advantage of this is that a lot of the time the icons are really small and I can't really see them, but I can just always look up and see my final drawing as well as seeing the bigger icons and click on stuff and alternate. So let me just quick, quickly click a watercolor brush and a different color. Let's just, let me just do it outside right here. Let me make a new layer. No, this is not the right brush. I'm just showing you guys how the pressure is just working and just the convenience of being able to see your drawing, not just on a bigger screen, but being able to use the pressure from the iPad. You guys could see the blending does work and oh man, I'm loving this. And if you guys want also a separate video just doing a whole speed pan on this, I'm definitely gonna do that. So I think that's the biggest plus about this is that I could be drawing on here even though like it's tiny, it's not really optimized for me to see a lot of the things, but it does what it needs to do is that I could draw and I could just use my mouse and keyboard to switch back and forth and I could still use my keyboard shortcuts which is just awesome so that's why I can't wait to show you guys the laptop setup of this which is really nice so 
want to give you guys some perspective here on how useful this is because a regular Wacom Cintiq or display tablet could run you the cheapest is around $300 for a good one at a decent size. And this iPad that I'm running is the cheapest iPad that I could get. It's the 6th gen iPad that came out in 20. 18. This is Apple's budget version iPad and I got the cheapest possible version and I got this used. So this iPad, I got it used for $200 and the Apple Pencil, I got it used for $50. So in total, I spent $250 just to get a setup like this and it has offered me a lot more than anything that I've used and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Apple is actually offering cheap, efficient, and high quality product for the first time in just a history. Apple used to be known for just luxury, really expensive items, but look at me using just a 250, like this might even be a lot cheaper now, like $250 and I'm able to use it as a Cintiq and Cintiqs usually cost thousands of dollars. Now they're getting a little bit cheaper, but there's still a couple hundred and that's just a lot of money for a lot of people especially for college student like you're in school or maybe you're just in high school and you don't have that much money yet and you got your first job you could definitely afford this and just work with almost any built-in computer and i'm just like wow i'm astonished like you get this whole setup for 260 dollars because this app costs around 10 bucks a little bit over i think it's around 12 or 13 and the way that the pressure works and being able to see it like this and it being so portable and even if you don't have a setup like this a lot of the apps on the apple app store are actually really good compared to the ones we have on android there's procreate there's autodesk sketchbook that's free there's um medibang well, Medibang is on everything, so I, uh, there's Medibang, there's Procreate, there's a lot of other ones that I haven't even touched, but it's just in this form factor at this price point. Yes, there's some Android tablets that have pens that do come in that price point, but not being able to be able to do something like this. Like, when you can draw using das desktop app, that's when you can truly make professional artwork, I feel. So I'm gonna go to a part where I'm gonna be trying out professional software in the later of the video, but first, let me show you guys how to get this set up and then we'll try the whole Adobe suite on this thing and just testing out the pressure. All right, so first thing first, make sure you have Easy Canvas downloaded on your iPad. Go on your computer, go just Google Easy Canvas and the first website to show up is this one because the username is called Easy easy and easylight.com but you could just look up easy canvas and it'll take you to the download website it works for both mac and windows so we're just going to click download for pc and we're just going to install it and while it does that make sure you have your lightning connected to your computer basically the charging cable so let's just do that really quickly. Now, I'm click trust, and click finish. And now let's launch Easy Canvas on our computer. And let's launch it on the iPad as well. And just give it a second. And boom, it works. But first, I wanna test something. I'm gonna try to turn off my Wi-Fi on both my laptop and my iPad to see if this still works. So, let's just see if it would still be connected. I'm gonna just close the app and try again and just connect normally just to see. Oh, boom, it works. Okay, so you guys just saw me turn off my Wi-Fi on both. So, okay, maybe that was just because I was setting it up for the first time. So just keep that in mind. So it works, guys. Let's get right into it. Let's just start opening some apps. Different angle, about now. Okay, actually, let me let the screen load up because that looks nice. It may be nice for the thumbnail, maybe. Create a new temporary canvas. I want to switch to a different view, but then at the same time, I'm just uh, I want you guys. I want you guys to see the close-up thing, but then at the same time, I want to. Well, the good thing is this is a two-in-one, so I can make this take up a lot less space. So that's that's a great thing about that. Let's just see if it works. 
Okay, boys, seems like the pressure is working. I probably need to go into one of my better drawing brushes, but it's working in Photoshop, guys. Okay, let me get a better zoom in angle. So my laptop is a two-in-one Ultrabook, so it flips 360. So that's why I like this works perfect because it takes up a lot less space as I try things out. So let's try some different brushes in Photoshop. And while I find my brushes, actually, I just want to say that I love how this has an undo and redo right on the sidebar. Let me get a better close up. I love how the sidebar has the undo and redo feature and also it has the color picker and it works back and forth and it's just amazing. And the good thing is that I could expand it so that way you could see the name, the naming and you can even like collapse it enough when you click X, it just becomes a little floating bubble, which I like too sometimes. And I'm just I'm just really happy at these options. I'm just happy they included it. And they even have like the fill but the fill the bucket tool. Wow. Actually, it, let's just see if it okay, let's let me open Clip Studio. I know everything will work with Clip Paid Studio, but I just want to try it. And then after that I'll try Illustrator. And I'll try Autodesk Sketchbook, the desktop version, Medibang and any other apps that I have on here. Let's see if the fill bucket works on here too. Oh my gosh, it does. Oh wow. Ah, this is so useful. All right, let's go back into Photoshop. Let me find my, my drawing brushes. Oh, and the eraser too. I wish there was like size control here as well that'll be really useful because not every program has them really easily accessible you know what maybe i should clear that layer you know let me just keep undoing actually it's kind of difficult using photoshop in this way and i do need my mouse and keyboard so i'm gonna flip my laptop just so i could easily navigate because that's that's one of the upsides about this <laughs> So I just, I wish I had bigger desk space and not so much stuff on my desk to put them side by side. Okay, maybe I can't. All right, yeah, let me just find my brushes really quickly. There we go. I was looking for the Danica Sill brush sets. All right, it's nice that I'm able to work back and forth. Because Photoshop is one app that I just cannot use without shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. Oh my gosh, the pressure is working in Photoshop. Oh my goodness. And I have to sh quickly show you guys a comparison. Let me get out my pen for this tablet and show you and show you guys a close up on how Photoshop works on here and with the actual <laughs> pen that comes with this because this is a two in one that I can draw in. And as much as I love it, the pressure isn't great for a lot of apps and the pressure is just not great in general. So let's just I'll quickly take that out show you guys my point i'm going to be showing you guys a better close-up of how i'm drawing with this brush set it's danica sills on youtube i'll leave her links down i'll leave the link to the her video brush down below so you can download these they're free and i love them they're my i'm so happy she made these uh but again let me lower the size on my laptop And this is how the pressure is looking using Photoshop. Again, I'm just doing a really messy, messy doodle just to showcase how these work. Because I don't really have a way line set test that I do. I usually just, just try doing a messy sketch and just talk about how it feels, if it feels natural or not. So, I don't know if you guys could see that better because it's a sketch. Let me zoom in even more. Oh, that's about as close as I could zoom in. Oh wait, it's the iPad. I can bring it to you guys. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> this is so light and thin. Okay, let me just try doing that. Hope you guys could see. Maybe, I, maybe if I could draw an angle so that you guys could see that too. I'm trying to show you guys every nook and cranny. So yeah, now I can't even see myself, but you guys would be able to see how the lines touch the screen oh no you guys can't even see that oh man let's do that down one more time and keep in frame i'm just putting in random lines i'm just looking through the viewfinder at this point trying to get this angle 
Okay, ho hopefully I made my point. <laughs> I know the sketch is horrible because I could not see. But now let's just switch over to my tab my laptop pen and the pressure. Let's see if I can make my point. Make a new layer. Hide it. Using the same brush. I'm just gonna ultra book this over without messing. I'm moving the iPad out of the way. A little bit. Okay. I don't know if you guys could see. Maybe if I should zoom in. I don't know the best way to reframe this. No, I need to zoom in. Alright, right here. And now let's just see. That's using the same pen and you guys can see how the pressure just varies drastically. How the lines are kind of more clumpy and just not as smooth. <laughs> Let me zoom in more so you guys can see. Pressure just doesn't work as good. There's at least some pressure, but it's nowhere as fine. See, look, I'm just gonna quickly switch from that to the iPad. Let me zoom out. That to the iPad. Gonna make a new light. Oh man, I have to adjust this. Look. Same layer and my lines just look drastically different. Oh man, I have to zoom in for this one. See so guys, same layer but different pen technology really shows you on how much pressure and it just proves on how the pressure sensitivity just works with this app. That's what I was trying to prove. And oh my gosh, this is a lifesaver. And the reason I did it in Photoshop because Clip Studio has really good software for optimizing for even like the lowest budget pen. So Photoshop was the best executable way to show it because Photoshop doesn't always work all the time, even with my Cintiq sometimes, even with my USB pad tablet. So this is just showing you on the potential of this app. And then let me just go back. I'm gonna make a doodle right here. You guys could see the difference. I'm just trying to be a frame when I make a sketch over um and right there so that just shows you guys how well the pressure sensitivity works all right let's go to another app all right so the next app that we're gonna be doing is Adobe Illustrator I'm gonna do a vector app to just test it out and since this video is getting a little bit long I will leave the other apps for a whole separate video since the rest of them will be just other drawing apps so let's just open illustrator and get right into it guys we're booting up illustrator right now and i'm excited to try this so create new because i am a graphic designer i love creating logos in adobe illustrator so it's nice to see how the vector tool works on this come on it's so long to boot up And again, I'm gonna be using a combination of keyboard and mouse because Adobe software just, just can't just be used without a keyboard. It's just extremely difficult. So let's just start with the simple paintbrush tool. Let me zoom in. All right, I zoomed in as, as close as I can and let's just try sketching out some letters. Maybe my, oh, come on. Okay, so for vector app, it kind of seems a lot harder to test it with just random brush strokes, but the tool does work. Um, my next video, I'll try, try to do this in terms of a project, just finishing a logo design on this and seeing how it works compared to doing on my computer or just a mouse and keyboard. And boy, this is in, in focus again. So that way it's kind of more practical and more real world because uh, the vector programs is just me trying out a bunch of different shapes and see how it works is not showing you guys if the pressure works or not that's the reason that we're trying this so i'll probably try a more real world example and a whole other video by itself of just just trying this for for general design use so at clip paint studio and 
for my next couple of videos, I'll definitely be doing longer drawing and more realistic one instead of these really random weird doodles. And I must say, I appreciate Easy Canvas a lot more on my desktop computer because I don't have to transfer things back and forth when I draw things on my laptop or my iPad, just, just using like Autodesk Sketchbook or something. I have to go through the whole process of sending myself my drawing and it's kind of like really annoying sometimes. And it's nice to be able to just draw directly on my main computer the same thing goes with my phone or any other device so it's nice to have a main device that i could use and draw on and use graphics so i would definitely want to test this with adobe animate as well and some other animating software so if you guys have any other recommendations of any software that you guys want me to test this on let me know down in the comments below i definitely think this is worth it there's a 14 day trial you guys could definitely try this out for both mac and pc i definitely recommend checking it out if you do have an ipad and see how it works for you and my only con about this is that the Apple Pencil is not my favorite pencil. I wish this worked with a Samsung device because the Norse Pencil is a dream. Again, I don't. the only downside for this is that like the iPad, I don't like drawing on it for long periods of time because I just hear this. A lot of the tapping on glass and it doesn't feel as natural for me even though the pressure works really, really great. So that's just a personal preference thing. So I just can't wait until someone, a startup, some company, heck, in a couple of years, if this doesn't exist, I'll definitely try to start gather people that to make an app like this for Android because that would be more useful because I do really prefer the Samsung Wacom pen a lot better than the Apple Pencil. So guys, enjoy this. Check out these related videos and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.